Oh man, this door just doesn't shut right anymore. It's getting worse and worse. Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. In this video, we're going to talk about door hinge issues. If you find that you're having door hinge issues, it's important to make sure that you fix it ASAP so you don't cause other and more expensive damage to your vehicle. Keep in mind, if you need any parts, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. We're gonna ship those parts out to you fast and free. The driver's door will be the most common area to have an issue with the door hinges. Why? Because it's the door that's the most used. Every time you get in the vehicle to go driving off someplace, you're using that door. There is also the possibility that you do have an issue with the passenger door, so you want to make sure you check that as well. Let's get into symptoms for this. You might hear a creaking while either opening or closing the door. If the hinges are real bad, or those pins themselves, the door might drop a little bit when you open it. And when you try to close it, you're going to have to lift up a little bit. You might find that you have damage to either the door or the body of the vehicle due to the misalignment caused by those hinges or the pins themselves. You could also have an issue where the door just doesn't latch properly. You go to shut it, for some reason it doesn't want to latch. You have to push it open and slam it shut. Other times you might just be driving down the road and you have a little bit of a whistling noise. That's due to the fact that the door is misaligned and air is passing by those seals. Common reasons for these symptoms might be the fact that the door itself is extremely heavy. And if you're a person that just happens to be leaning on it like I am right here, I'm adding a whole bunch of weight, pulling it away from the vehicle. When you're doing this, you're adding extra strain to the hinge area itself. This can cause damage to the hinge pins or the bushings that are in between the hinge and the pins. In extreme cases, you might actually have damage to the hinge itself. That would be the case if for some reason you had a little bit of wear on those bushings and you didn't take care of it right away. The bushing itself might be worn away and you might be rubbing into the metal on one side of the hinge or the other. And something a little bit less common is you might actually have loose hardware holding the hinges to either the door or the body itself. If that's the case, the door is going to be able to pivot around and it's not going to align properly. So you're gonna to wanna to take a look for that. Let's get into diagnosis for this. Go ahead and open up that door and lift it up and down. If you see any movement, you know you've got an issue. Now while you're doing this, watch that hinge area. We're going to be looking to see if you can see movement from the hardware holding the hinge to the, either the door or the body, or maybe you have a weak link. Typically it's going to be an issue with the bushings because they're made out of soft metal. Other than that, the pin itself could be a little bit worn as well. And lastly, you wanna make sure that you don't have any damage on the hinge ears due to excessive wear. Now let's talk about fixes for this. Most door hinges will bolt onto the body of the vehicle and to the door itself. In this case, the door is typically going to be removed to replace either the hinge or the pin kit. Now this isn't necessarily the hardest fix. It can be done alone. It is a little bit easier with a second person. You're going to need some basic tools. You're going to need a jack and a stand of some sort to hold that door. When you're trying to pull the door away from the body to access the hinges, most vehicles do have electrical wiring making its way from the body to the door itself. So you wanna make sure you don't give those a tug or damage them in any way. Now when you're doing a hinge or just repairing the pins, it's important to make sure that you replace both of the hinges or the hinge pins at the same time. Now when you're doing this and you have to remove the hinge from either the door or the body, it's a good idea to go ahead and mark the door and the body where the original hinge area was. So when you go ahead and put everything back together, you're going to have a little bit less of an adjustment to try to make. Once you get it together, slowly try shutting the door. You never want to try to slam it shut just in case it's misaligned. You don't want to damage the body of the vehicle in any way. Generally, when you do this, you are going to have to realign the door a little bit. So just snug that hardware. You don't have to torque it yet. Once you're sure that everything's properly aligned, that's when you want to make sure you tighten it down properly. Now let's talk about whether or not you should replace the entire hinge assembly or maybe just that pin kit. If you find that only the pins or the bushings themselves are worn in the hinge, you could save yourself a little bit of money and replace only those. But if there was too much wear on either those hinge pins or the bushings to the point that the hinge itself was damaged, you're going to have to replace the entire hinge. Also, you wanna make sure that you pay attention to the hinge. Commonly, you're going to have some sort of door check. That's a little lever that you're going to find and typically it will have a spring attached to it. The reason for having this on there is so that if you are either trying to open or slowly close the door, the wind won't take hold of it and slam it shut on you or just blow it right open. When replacing the entire hinge assembly, you'll find that it comes as bare metal. 
So before you go ahead and install it, it's a good idea to have it paint matched to the specific color of your vehicle. By leaving it as just plain metal, it's probable that it's going to rust over time. If you're just replacing the pins, the hinge itself is already painted, so you don't necessarily have to worry about that. Before you start taking anything apart to replace only the pins, make sure you take a close look. Some hinges, you can't actually replace only the pins, so to tell if you can do the hinge pins themselves, look along the top of the pin and along the bottom. If you see a ridge looking like it's holding it in place on the top and the bottom, that means that you can't replace only the pin, you have to replace the entire assembly. Looking at this hinge right here, you can tell, looking at the bottom and the top, this one is actually serviceable. I have the ridge along the bottom, and up along the top, I have an area that I can remove the clip and slide the pin right out of there. Whether you decide that you need to replace the entire assembly or just the pins, we sell them, 1AAuto.com. Now let's talk about prevention for this. You're going to want to make sure that you clean and lubricate your hinge area. Any built up gunk or debris will cause wear and create movement over time. By adding grease, it might seem like it's a good idea, but road debris is going to make its way inside that area and accumulate on it, as you can see right here. Rather than using some sort of white lithium grease or something that's sticky, you could actually use a hinge lubricant or some sort of dry lubricant. That way there, it'll lubricate things, but it won't make it so anything accumulates on it. Now, I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it interesting. If there was something in this video that you found was useful and you want to share it with somebody, go ahead and share it with them. It would mean everything to me. If you liked the video or even love the video, go ahead and smash on that like button for me. It would mean the world. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell. That way there you, all of your friends, can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks. One thing I'd note is um, I could kind of see the tripod swaying a little bit when you were moving the vehicle. Like when you were kind of So of course, ugh. Here we go, you of course. I know, of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course this time it actually shut. Try again.